large crowds traveled with Jesus. Many people wanted to follow him. One man said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus told the man, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Another disciple said, Lord, I will follow you, but first let me go and bury my father. Jesus replied, Follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. Jesus told the people that following him wouldn't be easy. It would cost them a lot. Anyone who comes to me must be willing to leave his family. You must love me most of all, more than your own life. Anyone who is unwilling to suffer cannot be my disciple, Jesus said. Jesus urged the people to think about what they were doing. He told them a story. If you wanted to build a tower, you would first sit down and figure out what it would take to complete the tower. Otherwise, you would build the foundation and be unable to finish. People would laugh at you. <laughs> then he told them another story. If you were a king, you wouldn't go to war against another king without considering whether your army would be great enough to win the war. If you have too few men to fight, you would send some men to ask for peace before the battle even started. Jesus wanted the people to consider the cost. If you are not willing to give up everything you have, you cannot follow me, Jesus said. Following Jesus means giving him complete control of your life. That is not easy, but it is worth it. Jesus said, whoever gives up his life for me will find true life. What good is it to have everything you want in the world if you give up life with God forever? Jesus taught that following him is not easy. It requires commitment and sacrifice. When we trust in Jesus, we give him complete control over our lives. True life is found in Jesus, who gave up his life to rescue us from sin and death. He is worth it. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for Questions from Kids. Serenity from Hebron, Kentucky asks, Sometimes being a Christian seems hard. Is it worth it? Yes, yeah, Serenity, let me just affirm your question first of all, the first part. You're right. There are times where being a Christian is difficult. Uh, we all experience this, and the longer that we follow Christ, probably the more we've experienced it. And the reason is this. Jesus told us that would happen. The Bible speaks a lot more about the difficulties that we will experience for following Christ than benefits that we will gain. And so we have to understand when we think about following Christ, we're gonna experience more difficulty, more adversity than we will good positive things. At least that's you know how it feels. And so here's the reason why. We live in a world that is opposed to Christ. The world is against Christ. And if we are for Christ, if we take a stand for him, and we let people know that and we're living for him, we're living in a way that the world does not like and it will oppose us as well. This is what Jesus told us. So there are a lot of times where we experience difficulties for following Christ. So that's the first part of, of your question I just wanted to acknowledge. Now, the second part, the, the real question you had was this, is it worth it? And the answer of course is yes. It is worth it, it is always, always worth it and here's why. Keep the bigger picture in mind. The adversity that we experience is, is temporary. It may feel like it lasts a long time, but it really doesn't. There will be an end to it. And it will be difficult, but here's the reality. You compare that and contrast that with what awaits us for eternity, being in heaven with Christ forever, where it is all just good, and all the sin is gone, all this difficulty is gone, and we will have that situation forever, 
that makes it all worth it. And that's what Paul talked about. He said, man, I might experience momentary affliction, but I gladly experience that because I know what awaits me, eternity in heaven with God. Here's the other thing that helps me as well to remember is that Jesus experienced affliction. You read through the Gospels and you see time after time where Jesus is made fun of, he's mocked, uh, people give him a hard time quite a bit, and actually as we know, he was arrested and crucified. And so it encourages me to know that, yeah, life is difficult for me, but the one I follow, Jesus, life was difficult for him as well. That he was faithful to the Father, I wanna be faithful as well. So is it worth it? It is, by all means. Question back for you then. What might you give up to follow Jesus and what will you gain because of it?